People Action Committee demands to produce Pravish Chana murder case in the ongoing assembly session, failing which warns of 24 hour statewide total shutdown. Veteran politician Okram Joy urges all 60 state MLAs and state government to adopt anti cap stand during the ongoing state assembly session. Revenue Minister Karam Sham says 37 individuals were provided jobs under Revenue Department's Die in Harness scheme in a fair and transparent manner. And Minister Thonaljam Sham Kumar distributes tractors and power tillers to 22 MIDH beneficiaries of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Shubusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. People Action Committee, PAC, a committee formed against the murder of Pravish Chanam, warned of 24-hour statewide total shutdown from the midnight of February 28 till March 1st if Pravish Chanam murder case is not produced in the ongoing assembly session. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, PAC convener Laimeyum Pishu stated that until now there is no clue to the murder of Pravish Chanam from Uripok that occurred on September 9, 2017 at Greater Noida in Uttar Pradesh. He maintained that civil society organizations and women folks of the state have been urging the government to probe into the murder case. The PAC convener lamented that the chief minister's assurance for investigating the case is yet to be put into actions. He also expressed disappointment and asked the credibility of the state government for failing to pressurize the central government to investigate the murder case. Minister <laughs> Attending the press meet, Vice President of Apunban Manipur Kanbalub Amkil L. Nganbi asserted that various organizations in the state will extend solidarity to the proposed total shutdown called by People Action Committee. Speaking to media, L. Nganbi condemns the state government for not being able to deliver justice and bring a closure to the murder case. Stating that there were many other similar murder cases, she said that people of Manipur will not remain silent on such ill treatments meted out by mainland Indians. Nganbi appeals to produce the murder case in the ongoing assembly session so that a decision may be taken to pressurize the central government to probe Pravish Chana murder case. Karigumba Modi Jairen Kalo, Karigumba Quig CM Jairen Kalo, Natri Haraka Karigumba Sarkar, New Emma Matamda, anyway, our Salakanda Magi, Trik Tirakanda, Kutak the Pabangam, Sarkar, Amana, Rabisanam, Halaba, Aduk Organ, Yole, Hibasukan, Kangaba Singaraba, Noidagi Police Station, the Missing Report, Ama Piraganda, Hamiba Mibu, Unclaim Bodini, Hainan, Mai Tarabatunda, Police Amadi, Ambaker Hospital, the Excel Loga Dana, Mama Mapa, the Naiba, Aduga, Manipurgi Prazas in the Sarangan 
Veteran politician Okram Joy drew the attention of the 60 state MLAs, especially those in governance, to take a joint decision against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 during the ongoing state assembly session to pressurize the center against the bill. Okram Joy also refuted the recent statement made by one BJP spokesperson that since CAB is listed in the union list, prison rule can be imposed in Manipur if the state assembly takes a joint decision against the bill as utter misinformation and termed the statement as expected out of a person who is ignorant about the constitution and the rules of the parliament. Speaking to media at his Kakwa residence today, the veteran politician condemned the BJP spokesperson's statement as misleading not only for the public but also potential enough to create confusion among MLAs. He further condemned the BJP spokesperson for alleging Congress party of ploying to demolish the government in order to seize power. Okram Joy demanded BJP leaders and Chief Minister Nongthong Bambirain to announce a decision against CAP 2019 during the ongoing state assembly session, keeping their promise to work as per the interests of the people. He asserted that a decision should be taken to demand withdrawal of the bill or to add a special protection clause in the bill to safeguard indigenous inhabitants of Northeast states if the bill is ever going to be produced in parliament. The veteran politician maintained that such a resolution can be taken as per the rules of the Indian Parliament. He said even if the state government chooses to ignore the matter, any MLA can take up private member resolution against the bill, but the resolution will have more weightage if it is taken by those in governance. Nagagi Solusanji Porobukanda Manipurki Territorial Inkiriku Shopiai. Madu Article 3 ki makada evening sarkarna ta wada 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 Tijan Bawat Pak Hang Bawat Pataki Pangang Bagu, on Tong Lai Bak Tibane, Prazagi Apa Magalina, Saka and Hiram Nina, CAB Bill, Baroki Parliamenda, Pasta Bungam Gitrabato, Siri Amitana, Busy Piggy, a quick gunman of the Potogan Harriet, Madu Bilu Munu with Otto, a quick protection Java, Sambidan Potoka over Lua Mona, Amuna Potoro Ivia, Manipur Assembly the Warrior Prong Naraba, Siri Birina, Manipur Assembly the Potokum Toy. Chairman of JDU North Eastern Executive Council Senchumo Lotha conveyed that JDU intends to field candidates for both inner and outer parliamentary seats in the upcoming Lok Sabha election. He also stated that the party strongly condemns Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 and that discussions are on to include the bill in JDU's election agenda. Senchumo Lotha was speaking to media on the sidelines of the one day political conference come workshop organized by Janata Dal United Pungyar Constituency for Pungyar Constituency at Adim Jati Hall in Chingmerong today. He asserted that JDU is one of the first political parties that oppose the unconstitutional bill which is based on religion. Senchumo maintained that JDU national leaders even alerted major students and Civil society organizations of Northeast states on tabling of the bill in Parliament. He said national leaders of JDU will keep its assurances given to people of Manipur to stand against the bill. Speaking to media, President of JDU Manipur State Unit Hankan Pao Taitul expressed firm belief that CAP will be included in the election agenda of JDU. He condemned CAP as a ploy of BJP leaders at the center to eliminate indigenous inhabitants of Manipur. The GDU was the first party in the whole of the country to oppose the citizenship amendment bill as early as May of 2018. Since our constitution itself is based on secularism, we definitely oppose this very constitutional amendment bill because it is communal in nature and we cannot allow any amendment of the constitution based on religion or communalism. Masi people's sentiment trust torok pa issue amanina masi masi ayamba any political party na take up torok kada ba mali koi party na su masi gi matang se chum nagi issue ay na raise torok kada ba nate ahan ba political party oppose torok pa oy bdo hojik su inside or outside parliament even if we are in the government or not in out of the government we will continue to oppose so that this constitutional amendment is not effective. 
President of All India Trade Union Congress AITUC, Dr. M. Nara, termed the BJP led government as not trustworthy considering its recent activities in the state and the country. He urged people of the state to fight tooth and nail to obtain their demands for betterment of the state. He was speaking at Delhi March Senate of Function organized by AITUC at Iravat Bhavan today. Women vendors of the state will take part in Delhi March on February 28, pressing various demands including implementation of Street Vendor Act to form a town banding committee and against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019. Dr. M. Nara maintained that agitations against CAP 2019 seems to have quietened after the bill lapsed in Rajya Sabha. He urged people not to curtail the protest. Anti-CAP elderly women protesters who sustained injuries during the recent anti-CAP protests were also felicitated on the occasion. <laughs> Demand <laughs> Revenue Minister Karam Sham stated that 37 individuals were given jobs, 12 posts in Grade 3 and 25 posts in Grade 4 under Dai Nhani scheme of the Revenue Department in a fair and transparent manner. He said out of the total 101 candidates who applied for the jobs, 37 candidates were chosen in the first phase. He is short of considering the remaining candidates in near future. Speaking to media at his secretariat chamber today, Minister Karam Sham further stated that the Revenue Department is sincerely putting efforts not to keep any pending files under the scheme. He maintained that the present government has successfully taken measures to close all the pending files of many years neglected by the previous government. Minister Karam Sham asserted that people are now gradually trusting the department, which was earlier considered as a corrupted department. One zero one, the applied to open, and the poor Sula Ravani, and the Hosuzik the thirty seven clear way. One zero one, Ziggy thirty seven, Sigi, Lemho Vuduma, Yamna Tubuma, the Duma, so clear to none of honorary. Adunaina. The Sarkar Pajariba, Moroina Taita Lereba, Minister, Commissioner, Secretary, Deputy Secretary, Joint Secretary, Under Secretary, Mayam Sina, Tabakshi, Prazag Interest, Tauragati, Yamna, the Free Weber, the Yenungaiba, Adu Pau Budo, the Anova Sarkar Sina Lakwakanda, Pounding with the Gi, Ayi Department, Masima Nanoida, Appointment P with the Habija B. Lady. Horticulture and Soil Conservation Minister Thawna Jamsham Kumar today distributed tractors and power tillers to 22 beneficiaries under Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture, MIDH, of the Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department. Principal Secretary of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department, J.C. Ramthanga, Mission Director of MIDH N. Premananda and top officials of the department attended the event held at the department's directorate in Sanjen Thong. Speaking on the occasion, Minister T. H. Sham Kumar said the department sanctioned 1 lakh rupees for a tractor and 75,000 rupees for a power tiller under MIDA for the first phase to benefit the selected farmers from various districts. He assured that the department will continue to provide benefits of various centre and state schemes to farmers even in the future. He appeals to farmers to cooperate in enhancing their products and in boosting their income by availing various benefits provided by the government. Manipurgi, Tongan, Tongan Bazagada, Rogario Posi Putokana, Amadi Hen, Haksang Panaba, and Semilon the Panaba, and Sigi Quinas, who know him, Hen, who know the Rasimu Tony the Motangas Department support of Masipunama, my Panda, my Panda, the Kanakota, the Gay, the Sista, the Pamina, Quick Rapiri, but Matin Rapiri, but Director Gay, Nomi, Beneficiary, Owner Singh, Amadi Port, Teller Gay, Beneficiary, Owner Singh, 
Mukul bukti lah. Pokoknya tabak sih nanti nak baca nanti tawar lagi. Di pada mana tawar pada masih mai pae na koi logo ni. Adik kau ni ngaji tu. Isteri am lagi tu mikir adu musim mati yang pang biu hari tu lagi saya tadi ambil tau. Takkan sih mati yang pang ni. Takkan mati yang pang ni semai na. Tangan apa lagi balik kaji kau lagi lagi balik lomim yang musuh mati yang pang. Adu lagi koi sama sahaja mina kau ni hari tu nak ambil tau ya. Sericulture director S. Kunjakishore has assured of efforts by the state government to convert Tushen village of Ukrul district into sericulture model village in near future. He was addressing the gatherings at Resham Krishi Melakam exhibition organized by regional sericulture research station Central Silk Board Mantri Pukri at Ukrul Baptist ground today. The sericulture director further stated that sericulture is a suitable profession for hilly inhabitants. He also said sericulture will help in enhancing farmers income with minimal efforts stating that the relevant department will provide silkworms and other assistance to sericulture farmers as Kunjakishore appeals to state farmers to show interest in sericulture experts stressed on how to conduct sericulture successfully during the exhibition this may have a compared to the Serena quite a hell is him up a yare I quick in them later every week he step with him with the department of meeting funny other good is a good to say Hana to ulam masih lagi hiana gue itu minat sih hiana masih aku memang pun wara yang memang dominan siapa? Hai ibu pun masih kena ide lah kat dia tu, pambiri lah tu ini apa? Pambiri lagi kat dia ni saya harus pasti hengkar dalam bersuji aroi. Aku ada seri nusi nusi harga pambi tu, macam mana maintain tu untuk kat dia aroi apa? Nah, hujung jilai ibu aku ini pambi thari bi area si expand tu betai, soft tuan betai. Ekoramat thari betul, ani thari betai, home thari betai. Health Minister L. Jenta Kumar today launched District Early Intervention Center, DEIC, to facilitate treatment of young children and geriatric care units to aid in treatment of elderly persons at Thobal District Hospital. Speaking in the event, Minister Jenta Kumar urged the staffs of the hospital to provide treatment to patients with responsibility. He maintained that people of the area have major role in enhancing the hospital. Chief Medical Officer of State Mission Director Thobal N. Doctors and staffs of the hospital attended the event. All Manipur Trade Unions Council and Joint Administration Council of Amtuk and Amgeo in a press release urged the state government to consider their charter of demands and to implement 7th central pay to state government employees at the earliest. Parents and Guardians, Council of Persons with Disabilities Manipur, along with teachers of disabled students, today stage a protest meet pressing aid demands to accord privileges meant for disabled students at Social Welfare Complex Takil. Their demands include upgrading of government ideal blind school and deaf and mute school into higher secondary schools to fill up lacking teachers, timely allocation of provisions under disability schemes to disabled students, to set up a separate directorate for persons with disability, to frame a state disability policy, to appoint state channelizing agents for National Handicap fin Finance Development Corporation, to acknowledge disabled sports persons, and to establish a special school for persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities. 11, 12, Simoya, Tamam later, Nayam, and also Nava. I got Tamuraga, so Maming, the Laga, just made the sum Laga, education equality, the Toroktava. A quick pre education, I do a right to educate, and a high river, Mayama, see the high Raga, how the key visually impaired, or a hearing impaired, or a synthesis, the Makogi rights to Pangadu, Umna Tori, crime yam to a Satramangre, have a gumba. I do not carry the name of Magi, Levam Tokpa. Warden security ki kari ke kia taker maya andu matam chana hap tabi dhegi shikumbha maya amse thoye Adhiko loyna loyna na tre noza shing philip tog dhabi dhegi shu moi ki education quality si yam handhar e Adhiko moi ki diet allowance ay na chahi yama moi si hostel lewe shing si shakar na chana wa piri ni adho matam chana pandu thadok taram ni na Lady was asking in my mind chen khan araga shot pa ni khangde lang ni khangde ad maayin taraga proper diet si matam chana pangan A combined steam of child welfare committee a district Child Protection Unit, Imphal East and Child Line Imphal, led by Imphal East Zilla Parisha, Seram Nikhil, inspected the conditions of uh, 25 children belonging to Mapitel Dam affected families who are being kept at Nongbram Legal Aid Clinic. Socialist Students Union Manipur SSUM and Manipur Proletariat People's Democratic Union MPPDU are providing the needs of the children at present. The children are studying at Kumukchang 
Kumukching Junior High School. Speaking on the sidelines, Imphal East Zilla Parishad Siram Nikhil said that many families were displaced and affected due to the Mapitel Dam project. He said the government has approached to provide assistance upon getting information on the undertakings of the two student bodies. Nikhil said that 25 children will be kept in children's homes run by the government. He said relevant authority will be approached soon to construct a children's home and in Nongbram and to turn Kumukching Junior High School into a residential school. ไม่มาเรื่องกันบัตรทับทีนักรักกันได้เลยหรือบางอ่างสิ่งตุ๊ดีมากี่หลายหลายชุดตามมากี่ขอดปากี่ Infalwest Commando Team today carried out coordinate search operations at Nagamapal area of Infal West District. The team carried out search operations from Nagamapal's Hindu Hotel till both sides of crossing at Jalal from 7.50 a.m. to 8.35 a.m. A total of 518 individuals were verified and 36 individuals without proper identification proofs were picked up and handed over to city police station for further verification. A combined team of Churachanpur District Police, NAB, NCB, Infal Zone, 25th Assam Rifles and staffs of Churachanpur District Administration destroyed a mass illegal poppy plantation at Tuikhamphai and Lokhai in Churachanpur District. The team destroyed poppy plants worth producing 1,030 kg of opium cultivated over a stretch of 103 acres of land in Tuikhamphai village area under Saikot Police Station and poppy plants worth producing 860 kg of opium cultivated at a stretch of 86 acres of land in Loikhai village area under Hengleb police station. Now moving ahead, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on today's combined uh, People's Day and Hills Leaders' Day held at Chief Minister's Bangalore. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Combined People's Day and Hills Leaders' Day for the month of February was held at Chief Minister's Bangalore today. Many people from both the hills and valley regions of the state turn up to raise their grievances to Chief Minister Nongthombi Rain on the occasion. Among the visitors, one Maibam Sanatombi, a differently abled person who owns a shop at New Chekon Palace Compound, told Impact News that he was granted a loan of 3 lakh rupees for his shop with the intervention of the Chief Minister today. Sanatombi said he has been trying to get the loan since July last year. However, it kept delaying due to some or the other bank-related issues. Sanatombi expressed contentment that bank officials granted him the loan finally in his last attempt today, all because of the chief minister. Another differently able person from Yaripo Gyambem, Ngangom Brojen, also expressed happiness over the facilities provided during the chief minister's People's Day. Aham by a loan, the proposal of Sierra was July Tadaki, Chilmanada, Sendu, Aina Tarata, women of the Ahum, the Mona Chensanta or Gaina Ahum, do Kedang Yamandi, the Hybel, the Yedu, Adu in a Logger Gana, Granter Kay, Matang, the Aina, Shem, the Mutanga of the Moikitan, Waro, Woody Lake, the Buziki, Yanava Port, and I was the Shem Sarnas, who learned the Shesango, Evie, Eda Kolaga, Yadana. เอ่อจังจังตอบไปกันได้ยาเลยเอ่อให้เลยอันนี้ก็ยังเชื่อมเมื่อทักษะนุ่งอาจจะไอ้ 2013 <laughs> DC Infal West Com uh, District Election Officer Naurem Praveen stated that necessary arrangements for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections are in place for Infal West District. 
Speaking to media at Imphal West DC office courtroom today, Pravin said necessary arrangements like polling station and polling personnel vehicle requirement and security are almost ready. He also said a total of 3,60,600 voters enrolled in Imphal West, out of which 3,85,395 voters are general electors and 2,205 voters are service electors. Pravin said time is up for submission of application and claim period for service electors and that processing is already underway. Lagliba election sigi abum thokpa actions hazina chathari tarkar oiba in terms of manpower election expenditure monitoring gi matang oiro polling parties makai gi personnel makai gi training EVM darka laiba makai first level checking to blowing loi ro all preparedness the khogji khui lai re masi dagi hauraga haiyang bhau pase koi election commission gi makha da special camp every polling station sida eligible loi ro electoral roll ming yaudra basing electoral roll yaura ga particular lan bo khot pa masi sum thok gi si graba natra ga luhong graba kong graba tom pham da lai graba electors sing gi maming si electoral roll gi lok ปุริกรุงซาบตุปีรีงาสิกะเฮงตาฮอลตระกะดิยาเดเฮเวลิตินานเฮกอิเล็กทอรอลพงกิบตุอะตะเกเฮกลวยระกันติเนสอัปเด
SUV segment price starts at 26.95 lakh rupees. Members of Cookie Gospel Artists Association today provided financial assistance for medical treatment to Cookie artist Thangcha Kongsai, 32 years from Chepau, Mongkot, Litan in Ukrul district. Thangcha Kongsai is ailing from hepatitis C and diabetes for the past two years. It may be mentioned that Thangcha Kongsai was conferred with the Lalti Award, one of the biggest awards of Mizoram on to, uh, in 2011. Now the sports news. A players from Manipur who set a new Asian record in the 26th Asian Track Cycling Championship were felicitated today. Sangai Express, one of the leading local dailies, felicitated the players and coach who participated in the championship in an event held on the theme Safe Playground, Safe Players at Sangai Continental in Thang in Thangal Bazaar today. Loitonjam Ronaldo from Wangkai Ningtham Pukri Mapal. Kaithil Lakpam James from Awang Kuno Imphal West and Yanglem Rojit from Kaino Bishnupur District backed a gold medal each and set new Asian records in junior team sprint cycling event of the championship held at Jakarta in Indonesia from January 9 to 13. Ronaldo also backed another gold in one kilometer individual time trial and a silver medal in 200 meter sprint event while Lanchenba Ilangbam from Hyanglam Makhalekai of Bishnupur backed a bronze medal in team pursuit cycling event. Champions and their coach YAS Physical Education I Gotami were felicitated with gifts on the occasion. Proprietor of Sangai Express, Nishikanta Sapam, YAS Assistant Director T. Thauba, Manipur's first Olympian P. Nila Kamal, MOA Secretary Sunil Ilangbam, former international badminton player H. Ganeshwar, Secretary of Manipur Cycling Association H. Bikram, and many eminent persons attended the event. <laughs> It should be better than yesterday and tomorrow you should be better than today. Every day go on improving. Don't look for anything. You'll get it. It's not a school. School is a tuition center. It's not a school. School is a sports school. Any school is a sports school. It's a tuition center. See me out here. You can't education complete. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. People Action Committee demands to produce Pravish Chana murder case in the ongoing assembly session, failing which warns of 24 hours statewide total shutdown. Veteran politician Okram Joy urges all 60 state MLAs and state government to adopt anti cap stand during the ongoing state assembly session. Revenue Minister Karam Sham says 37 individuals were provided jobs under Revenue Department's Die in Harness scheme in a fair and transparent manner. And Minister Thanujam Sham Kumar distributes tractors and power tillers to 22 MIDH beneficiaries of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department.